Welcome to the City Plaza Hotel in Athens. Centrally located, four stars, 300 rooms, friendly staff at the reception, a restaurant, a bar, and spacious double rooms for guests like this family of three. But they're not here on vacation. They're refugees from the war in Syria. And Yorgos Maniatis and the other staff members aren't employees. They squatted this hotel in downtown Athens because they couldn't stand to see thousands of refugees living on the street when housing remained empty. Uh, an infrastructure which is not used by many reasons, economic reasons, and give it to, to the social reasons that it's meant to be covered right now in an emergency situation. Maniatis interrupted his university career to operate the refugee hotel. Rana from Syria, who doesn't want to be recognized, is grateful. After fleeing through Turkey to Greece, she didn't know where to go with her family. Maniatis gave them one of the last rooms in the city plaza hotel. It's much better than the camps. Here at least we have something to do. And the children have the chance to play. And the food is good. We're very happy here. The hotel kitchen. When Maniatis and the others squatted the hotel, the kitchen equipment was still functional. They merely had to hook up the electricity. Now they prepare 800 meals a day here. Actually, in all the hotels there are different working groups uh, which are coordinating in a meeting. So self-organization is the main principle. And of course, many refugees are, uh, uh, are actively a part of it. The food comes from donations, as do the medicines and hygienic articles in the infirmary. In the meantime, the squatters receive active support from all over the world. For them, the city plaza is the best hotel in Europe, even without room service. They don't sit around and wait for months for permission. They see what positive things they can do, and they just do it. But the City Plaza Hotel is dividing Greek public opinion because it's inspired a squatting movement for refugees all over the country. An arson attack was directed against another building squatted for refugees. The question is different when Greece was a transit country uh, and now that uh, the case about uh, uh, the housing, the creation of camps, there is always uh, reactions for, for smaller groups, from bigger groups, from uh, mayors and local communities uh, who cannot understand that the refugees are here to stay. The conservative opposition is appalled that people simply occupy buildings to accommodate refugees illegally. They decry the legal vacuum and demand the police shut down the hotels. Most of the refugees who come into the city should be accommodated in camps outside of the city or sent on to other European countries. Athens can't deal with this problem otherwise. Rana seldom leaves the hotel with her children. She's afraid of racist attacks. People in the neighborhood want the old City Plaza Hotel back again. Most of the foreigners in the hotel are here illegally. No one knows whether they have committed crimes. That has to be investigated by the police. Georgios Maniatis doesn't allow himself to be intimidated by the agitation. Just to be sure, he has a few strong men posted at the hotel entrance to protect against attacks. Maybe someday tourists will enjoy expensive cocktails again on the roof terrace when Greece's economy picks up again and the refugee crisis is solved. But until then, Maniatis and his friends will continue to hold out here. We want that such places will not be needed, but at this time with 50,000 uh, and more uh, refugees stranded in different camps, in facilities with 2,000 persons in, in tents. Uh, City Plaza is uh, unfortunately one of the best, offers the best conditions. The owner of the bankrupt hotel has filed suit against Maniatis and the other squatters. But the refugees and their helpers want to resist eviction. After all, for them, this is still the best hotel in Europe.